room before you appears to be a maintenance area that features a large freighter lift in the middle of the room that is large enough to hold a couple of APCs. There are several working Joes in their docking stations at the rear of the room. You see a terminal located at the rear of the room. And that is where you are right now. Take mm. it away. So they're they're not red, correct? They um appeared to be docked. So if you're unfamiliar with it, uh, working Joes with their idle or not being used, um, they they go into like a docking station, recharge and stuff. So they appear to be idle right now. I come up just behind the captain, kind of look in with Andromeda. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Captain? Well, let's move ahead and just be very, very cautious on those uh, working Joes and hope they don't move. And I'm going to go in. Okay. Have my gun drawn like usual and fall behind. Okay. Kato's following suit. Do we do we notice any any difference as we walk in the room? I mean, is there anything else of note, or it's just a essentially a, a, a warehouse for best we can tell? Yeah, as far as you can tell, it's just a um, just a bunch of maintenance kind of stuff laying around. Nothing really of use. It looks like, um, in fact, it kind of looks a little bit trashy, probably because your guess is that this was used a lot during the construction of the colony to take uh, equipment up and down each level. Should we try to disable those working Joes back there? Uh, Andromeda speaks up. She's like, um, I don't think that's going to happen. That's way more complex than just going up to them. Um, and two, if they sense any kind of, uh, you know, being being tampered with, they, they might react. Yeah, I say for the moment, just play it cool. Just keep a, one eye on them. Should we check out the terminal? Captain? Yeah, that's that's yeah that was going to be my, my follow-up. All right, you can ignore the like the boxes. That's just yeah right. part of the picture, yeah. you know. Is there? Do we see a control for the lift? There is a control. Yes. Okay. Does the leg goes up or down? Um, you are. Well, judge them by looking. If you walk up to the shaft and look. You can see that there is a, a, a way down and a way up. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to try to access the terminal. Okay. See what happens. When you uh, access the terminal, the there are uh, it is active, and there are a couple of options on there. However, it looks like the only option that you have is uh to unlock which floors this lift can access so what you see on the terminal right now is you see uh level two is locked oh, i'm sorry level uh oh uh level three is locked level two is locked Level one is um, docked, and subfloor one is locked. Mm -hmm. And you have the option. It, it appears that you have the option to change that. <clears throat> okay. So, do we want to go up or do we want to go down? Consensus. 
I think down. One for down. Uh, down is as good as up. I mean, yeah. Uh, I also feel like if we start with down, then we're all going down one. We we'll always come back. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't know that either is a good option. Um, would. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if we should be jumping the elevator, but I'm down for a ride, cap. Yeah, we've already checked out this level, and we found pretty much, you know, a couple of things, but we 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 hit dead ends everywhere. So I I think we should go down as well. So I'm going to unlock the sub floor. Would would using what I know about computers um, make any difference uh, with that terminal? Would it potentially? I don't know if we should mess with it. If we can just... Those working Joes might be a problem. I feel like they aren't bothering us by unlocking floors, maybe? If you want to try something, by all means, uh, let me know what you want to try. Okay. I will... I'll just go with going down for right now. If the captain can get the floors unlocked, well, before I... Before I tinker with anything and cause a problem, <laughs> we break it. <laughs> let's let's unlock the floors. Give ourselves an alternative way out first. Yeah. So first, we'll unlock the subfloor. Okay. So you uh, you go to the terminal and you press a few buttons, and the terminal states that uh, subfloor one is currently in process. As soon as that clicks over to in process, the work in Joe initializes over here and it gets out of his docking station and work walks forward. It looks over towards you and fortunately it seems that is not in an aggressive state. Excellent. So it continues to move on and come around to the left and it comes to the panel that's on the left and it opens up the panel and presses a quite a from what you can tell quite a long code into it and it's it, he's fast and he's like D -d 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 -d, you know the yeah. sequence and um after you know, a few seconds, it stops, and you hear like a a click, and it shuts the terminal, and hopefully, this turns. Please be the right color, green, green, yep. green. Okay. And now, is this lift like a door? So, like, we have to go around the front of it to enter, or is it enterable from all like? That's what I was going to ask. Is it is it encased or is it yeah they open level of the floor? Like... Yeah, so it's it's uh, it is like a platform a, a platform. However, the front of it opens up. The rest of it is kind of like uh, caged or yeah, it's like a cage, okay. right? But it's open at the top, and and um, realistically, if you wanted to, you could probably climb over. Do we have radios with ward? Yes. Uh, we do. Yep. We should probably let Ward know what we're doing. Okay. Like, explain that we're going down a level. Yeah. I'll, I'll radio and I'll pull out the uh, walkie and uh, I'll say uh, Captain to Halifax. Hey, Ward here. What's, what, what's going on? Um, Zoe's sleeping here. Uh, Imogen's just kind of sitting here in the room with us. What's up? Um, we are at a lift. We found a lift, uh, like a freight lift, and we are about to descend down into the sub floor of this building. And I just wanted to let you know that if you exit the Halifax, it's the door to the far left. Um, it's open, and uh, we are headed down the lift now. Okay. Um, well, I'll just I'll just go hang out here then, I guess. Um, I'll wait to hear from you again. All right, I think I might do a test 
call uh, when we get to the subfloor to see if it still picks up. Okay. It works. Uh, all right. Over and out. All right. Uh, you guys at the lift can 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 uh, continue on. All right. Hop it in. Wee. Let's descend into hell. Hey, 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 guys! Um, Imogen just took off running. Um, I'm, she, she just left the ship. I'm, 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 I'm in, I'm in pursuit. Roger that. Captain, should we go down with Imogen loose? Not seconds uh, after that happens, Imogen comes bolting in towards you guys in the left, and she smacks the button, jumps in. And you all start to descend together. Uh, what color color her eyes? Um, sized her. Um, guys, I, I didn't make it to the lift in time. Uh, hi, Imogen. Hi. How's uh, how are things going? Hi. I uh, you guys that, are in danger, aren't you? Oh, uh, uh, not uh, we not at the moment. Think so. Oh, are we in danger now? I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> I like that we're all huddled in the back of the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She um. She is. She is um. She she is not. Uh, oh gosh. What was it? Gray eyed. She's not gray. Yeah, she is not gray. She has not gone gray. Hey, Imogen, we could have waited for Ward. Oh, okay. And she just kind of sits standing there in the corner. Are we, are we like, hell I mean, the it? elevators is the lift descending? Yeah, it is. It is descending. Hey, Captain, okay. we should tell Ward to go back yeah. to All the right. ship. Y'all, y'all hear the radio come on. Um, is everything okay? Um, <laughs> I'm staring at a closed door here. So yeah, um, we have Imogen. She's with us. Imogen uh, okay. has us. Ha however you wanna. Yeah. Uh, just go back to the ship and take care of the patient, and uh, we'll. Uh, we have. We have Imogen. All right. Can do. And I start heading back. And go back into the ship. Just give me a sec, guys. That's <laughs> all under the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I should put myself in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the uh, the shaft appears to be working just fine, and you are slowly descending. Um, when you look up, you see. Uh, Ward's head peeking over, and then he you know, disappears. Is it like dark, dark lights at all? Like dark? Uh, no, I mean you still get your emergency kind of lights. Well, I meant, I meant like, is there any lights on the shaft, or is it like just just dark? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, think of it like, uh, you know, um, there you go. Did that show up? There's a new area of it's oh, down, yeah, found it. yeah, okay. oh, down, yep, yep, okay, down to the yep. right, yep. down, down bottom screen, square, square room, one door. Uh, I'm also gonna add now that we know oh, floor one, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. There's so yeah. There's lights on the shaft, so you're not in complete darkness. And once you get down to the uh, slope four zero one, you uh you you come into a similar room. Uh, it looks almost identical, and um, it's a little bit cleaner down here. But uh, you can tell that you know some work has been done, some dirt's been tracked back and forth and things like that. That's about it. Uh, you got about as much light as you had 
uh, on the way to the med lab that you found Zoe Cook. So it's not quite, you know, so dark that you can't see too far. You got enough light to where you can kind of see around. You can see the whole room. So, so Imogen, why'd you come with us? I thought you were in trouble. What well, made you think that? Maybe we should go back up. Come on, guys. Let's go. Do we, other than being below ground, is there any change in humidity, smell? I mean, anything still feels like... If anything, it's, it's a little bit cooler down here. Okay. So, I mean, nothing that would be unusual for a sub sub level no okay um is there there's nothing nothing to note i mean that the boxes the barrels and all that are very similar to what we saw upstairs it's just construction materials and uh, yeah warehouse equipment pretty much yeah i mean you're not seeing anything else that stands out at you at this moment no This door is closed. Actually, no. It is open. Oh, it is. I'll give okay. you a little bit there. All right. Hey, Captain. Yeah. Feel a little eerie to you? I mean, no more eerie than it did on the other floor. This is all... Um, <laughs> just a little guest. Come along. As you move forward... Carson, you find a room that's very similar. Uh, to the atrium on the first floor. Super duper. Uh, the uh, it looks very similar. It kind of mocks how it it's, it uh, how it would it would simulate like an outdoor outdoor end yeah. area. Kate, don't uh, stick your hand in that pool. The only difference in here don't is tell me what to do. <laughs> there is a uh, there is a um, like a closet or, or a, a smaller room in the back, and the door to uh, to our right appears to be open, while the door to the left appears to be closed. All right, everybody. Keep your eyes peeled. We remember what happened the last time we were in one of these rooms. Yeah, I don't like these rooms. I'm gonna walk over and uh, inspect this room. I'll be close behind him with Andromeda, so we'll stay close, tight together. Imogen, you coming with us? You want to stay close behind us? Yep. In fact, I'm gonna take Imogen off the board. She's gonna hold uh, Andromeda's hand. Oh God. <laughs> That's good. You stay close to Cable, Andromeda, or Imogen. You sh- <laughs> he'll take care of you. Um, see, look in this little room here, and you don't find much of anything except for another vent that is closed, just like all the other ones. Okay. I'm going to uh, do an observation roll, do a or dive on the ring. Okay. You're just doing like a sweep of the general sweep of the room? Yeah. These these vent covers we've been seeing, do they look like um are they standard equipment? I mean it doesn't it looks like something that was part of the original construction, or does it look like something that was welded or bolted on after the fact? This is like it's it, like it's part of the construction, like it's supposed to be here. Okay. Right. I'm going to move and see what I can see through the. This was the door to screen left that was open. Uh, that one is closed. 
Okay, our our right. Okay, so the uh, I will go the other. Yes, the other way. Stay staying back from the door, but far enough that I can see. See in a little bit. See in a little bit. I'm not sticking my head through the door. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay. You are uh, ex successful in searching the general area of the room and finding nothing. Yes, perfect. Just what I wanted. I think I don't want to find anything. <laughs> it's actually my goal. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sometimes that's better. Yeah, I don't want to find anything down here. <laughs> you find a human skull. <laughs> so I see the beginnings of a north south hallway is that what i'm what i'm seeing there yes you are mm -hmm. okay looks fairly narrow okay is the uh, terrarium the ponds fairly similar to what we saw upstairs it is I've been told I can't stick my arm in there so <laughs> oh, you can Imogen I, I tell you nothing well, not like I got a medic to put it back on <laughs> alright I'm good to go mm -hmm. good to go alright Okay, so uh, what did we see in this room? I'm sorry, I missed that. Nothing. Anything? Okay. No, nothing. All right, so I uh, will proceed to walk down the hallway through the open door. The uh, hallway, okay, to the right, yeah, okay. When you walk in, You find a hallway. Okay. And that is all. You still got enough enough light in here where you no. Know, yeah. You see plenty well enough. Is this door open? This is a hallway? Yes, it is. All right, I'm gonna step down that hallway. I'm gonna let Kato go before me, and, and then I'm gonna pull. We'll kick up the rear. Kind of waiting to see what all these ominous noises are. I was kind of enjoying the happy sunny bird day. <laughs> the, um, I was I always know to stay five feet from him. <laughs> so Ow, coward. <laughs> Here, when you turn the corner, uh, it looks like you've hit another medical area. Um, it looks like it's in relatively good shape. Uh, hasn't been used too much. Too much. Uh, the um, the uh, doors to your right. There should actually be doors there. They actually are. They're closed. Um. All, all the doorways here are have doors on them that are closed. Okay. I'll step through with Captain and kind of look at the room. All right. Uh, can, uh, can, I, can I like look around here? Is there like a terminal we can see if it opens the doors? Um, you, you don't see any terminals. No. No so matter anyway, Anything that looks like it would open these doors up? There are uh, switches by them. Uh, maybe being some med lab, those doors are closed for a reason. Can I look around here? I want to look around and see if I find anything useful. Yeah, sure. Give me a observation. 
Uh, give yourself a plus one. Uh, did you say it every time? I, I know. The <laughs> See, same role. You're so you're with the Andromeda, so she's gonna I give know, you. A I plus just one. laugh every time you do it. You're like, give yourself a <laughs> plus one as I hit the button. Do it again. Okay. Okay. You're you're looking around the room and you're not finding anything of use. However, when you are combing the area, it, it's very hard to see and barely catches your eyes. But you look at the at the floor and it doesn't look like anything so much out of the ordinary, but it looks like something may have left some tracks behind. Maybe uh, like some like some scratches or things like that. Like it looks like it's like it's been walked on a lot or something like that. And like it goes walk, like it, walked on like by feet, like by feet that I would think of feet or like like anything different, like an animal. Just like, like, like it's just it's just got some wear. It's very 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 light, you know, and you wouldn't like think anything of it. Yeah, but you, yeah, right, and you wouldn't think anything of it. But the only thing is, it's coming from the doors that are closed. Captain, I don't know if somebody was drugged through here from those doors, but um. I think we've seen a lot more use in this situation than I would expect from what we've seen. Uh, am I the only one that hears things like rumbling around down no, here? No, I hear things. I just put them out of my mind. Fair enough. Seems helpful. I am um, walking up to this door and uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to knock on it and then put my ear up to it to hear if I hear anything move in it. Okay. Yep. So you knock on the door and you wait a minute and you you get nothing, no response. All right. And you said there's switches next to them. Mm -hmm. All right. So I am going to. Uh... All right, guys. I'd be. We have. We're going to see what's behind in door number one. Sounds good. I draw my arm and I put my arm right at the door. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to flip this switch and as quick as I can step back and like aim with my gun. Gotcha. Kato, what are you and doing? I'm standing in the hallway watching these fools open that door. <laughs> All right. I, so, uh, I'm looking around judiciously to see if there's a button in this hallway that will close this med bay door. Um, <laughs> All right, so I uh, I flip the switch and jump back. Okay, Andromeda tells Imogen to wait behind Kato. So yeah, yeah, she yeah. comes out behind you, and she's peeking around the corner. I'll, be, I'll, take this, I'll take this as a win. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you open the door, and when you do, nothing comes at you. But you see this. Are did those? I bring the All no, right, we did not. Now um, you see several egg pods. They do. They are all open. If I flip the switch, does it close the door again? Yes. Okay, I will leave that door closed. All right, let me um let me just make that green. Okay. That door shut. Okay. I don't know if I want maybe we should knock Open. on this door too. Yeah. Let's uh I stay behind the desk. 
point my gun over to Howard at the door. I'm going to do the same knock on the door and listen in. And when you do, you get the same response. And I'm going to do the same thing. Open that door and draw my gun. Okay. When you do. You see this. Same scenario. Several egg pods all appear to be open. Uh, close the door again. Okay. Door is closed. As soon as that door closes, you hear noises. Awesome. What direction? It is coming to the north. And... If they hit the right one. Yeah. By the way, Imogen. Yeah, I assume Imogen followed Kato. Or with the drama. You hear oh. this noise. Oh, one second. And a couple of working Joe, hostile working Joes, come around the corner. God damn it! Okay, and drama does up first. Oh, Lois works better. Oh man, <laughs> I thought I did so well. That's the way. That's the way I'm doing it. I'm just kidding. I don't care. It's so um, I was like, yay! High roll. <laughs> Andromeda is going to move up to uh, this one here and take a take a swing at it with our cutting torch and hits the working Joe straight across the head and knocks it pretty good, but it's still standing. Carson, you're up. All right, I'm going to um, take aim and shoot at the one that's. That Andromeda just hit. Okay. So you shoot at this thing. What are you shooting it with? It's a also armor piercing. It's a, a scope rifle M four two four two A. A rifle, yeah. You shoot this thing straight in the head, and it blows a big hole on it, um, and the thing just drops. It is gone. Nice. Okay. Kato, you're up. Uh, I'm going to use my actions to move. Mm -hmm. uh, move to the corner and see if there's um, anything to take cover. Um, Why don't you go in that room and close the door? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, I'll use my second action to open the door, bastards. To show you. <laughs> you do? You open the door? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if that makes the Joes mad. Uh, the Joe does appear to uh, become a little more angry. That's your. Is that your turn? Yes. Yeah, that was my two. Okay. Two fast actions was to move and to uh, open the door. Open the door. Okay. In fact, you make him so mad that he comes gunning right for you. Oh, man. <laughs> is, that, is that really what you wanted to <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to read on my tombstone <laughs> that I was just following orders. I, I, don't, I don't think that I said that in game, but okay. <laughs> I, I think it's better you did. I, Sir, Kato seems like he's always leaving us to die. C Cable, you need you need to stay alive to tell my story. <laughs> this thing appears to be angry with what you are doing, and it runs. Uh, it it quickly walks over to you, but as it does, it kind of stumbles as it tries to swipe at you, but it misses. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> Imogen, 
runs up. What? Get it, Imogen. And uh, she takes a hit at it. With what? From what you like can her... tell, her bare fist. She's holding a roll of quarters. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you laugh at that, but <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hmm. My God. Okay. Not what I was expecting. She goes up this thing and she um she kind of blows all of your mind. She draws back and takes a swing at this, and she punches through this oh, thing's no. gut. Right through it. And um, the thing goes just like goes to the side. <laughs> but it's still alive. Um, even she looks at shock. And what just happened? Good job. You got the weak spot. It's covered with like android blood up to her shoulder. Yeah, Andromeda is covered in it. Yeah, that's the weak spot. That's just like pure paper. Oh. Um, Cable, okay, you're hiding behind the desk. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot above it. I'm gonna reach up and take a shot from behind it. Okay. Aim. I'm gonna aim first and take a shot from above. All right. Keep in mind your line of fire. I'm fine <laughs> with this. Okay, right, so it's a ranged combat. Plus one. Okay. And this is, I believe, is an armor-piercing weapon. It is. I believe it is the Rexum RF. Right? I think the Rexum RF is there. Let me just double check that before I actually say that for sure. You're missing some details about your weapon. You don't see your damage and stuff. Your bonus damage range. Really? I thought I had plus one, plus one in there. It is armor piercing. It's plus one bonus, plus one damage, and armor piercing. I'm not sure why I don't see that. Did you just press it? the attack button? And uh, I did range combat. Oh, range co oh. there's an attack button right next to your uh, oh. weapon. To your weapon, yeah. Go ahead and try that. Let's see how that works. There you go. That's better. Oh, same roll. So, you said it it is piercing. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay, so you um you take a shot at it and you hit it a little bit to the uh, other side of where. Imogen hit it and it does enough to where it just kind of like shorts out and falls over and it's oh. done. Now when it falls over uh, Andromeda bends down and look, she picks up something. She looks at it and she's like, oh, hey guys, found a key card. Hey. <laughs> Hey, Kato, why don't you get out of that door and close it, please? They don't want us in there. I don't think you should be in there. I, they didn't want us in here. The door would have been locked. Guys just wanted to send me in here in the middle of battle. A captain says, go in there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Jerks. Go in here and shut the door behind me.
I say you're gonna go in there and shut the door? Sure. Oh, okay. Jerks. Captain, I think you have to have drama drag him out of there, please. <laughs> oh no, no, no. I'm not doing that. You have to ask nicely. Come on, Kato, let's go let's go for a little walk around the building. I'm sure we'll die a different way. Come on, Imogen. She goes back to uh There's still a door down here. Is this a door or a way? Down to your left? Yeah. That is actually open. Okay. I'm gonna walk through it. Okay. When you do You find a small closet. However, you do not find anything of interest. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a deeper look. Okay. You take a look in there, and there's a couple of desks laying around. You look through the drawers and, and such, but you don't find anything. Okay. That was a pretty quick battle, guys. Uh, this is a lot smoother. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to take a second, everyone, to just go over briefly what we're finding here. So the only places we found those eggs are in, like, medical settings. And it looks like in these rooms especially in the one that we moved into the right, that they're all placed besides beds, sort of like they're all positioned in these medical settings and the working Joes seem to come out when we were entering those rooms. So I don't know if they're protecting something or I'm not sure, but it's all very interesting that they seem to be like, existing in these medical settings and i don't know if they're a science experiment or what something to note there captain is uh one of the ones that was residing in a bed beside one of these um ward took as his new pet project um and is now on board the ship just in case those things are connected, that's something we should probably keep an eye on. Yeah. Um, that's true. Um, that's another good point. Let me see if uh, we have any range toward with the radios down here. Um, I pull out the walkie talkie and click and go, uh, Captain DeWard. GM, you are pick, anything? You are picking this up, yes. Hey, yeah. What's up? What's up, Captain? We found more eggs. Um. Uh, I don't think you have the flamethrower with you. Are y'all okay? Um, where are you right now? Um. See, I would still be in the med bay. Do me a favor. I was like, Can oh, you hold, step hold. out? Yeah, I'll go ahead, go, go ahead and say that again. Uh, do me a favor. Step out for a minute. And I just want to have a conversation with you for a second. Sure. All right, I'll step out in the hall. and um, like, Hold on a sec, Captain. Uh, I'm going to walk over because I, I believe I hear Grim just going nuts in there. So I'm going to... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to... Um, I, I didn't actually. I, I didn't say that over the radio. Oh, that was you know just saying that to the GM. No, oh, okay. So I'm gonna kind of, I'm just gonna kind of peek in there to Grim before I for our radio back. Yeah, uh, Grim's going nuts. Um, he's growling, uh, not towards you, but just he really wants out. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm radio back to Captain. Captain uh, Grim is he's he's picked up on something. He is very very agitated. Um, 
I think I'm going to let him out. Um, maybe okay. he's maybe he's hitting on something that's inside the ship that's not supposed to be here. Before you go on that hunt, we found more eggs. They're set up in medical settings, like in medical bays and, and rooms, next to medical beds. Well, we're not really sh we're not really sure what kind of science experiment they got going on, but Cato had a good point that we just kind of rescued somebody that was found in a similar situation. So, I mean, she she seems to be okay. I mean, everything I've seen is, I mean, I'm, I haven't seen anything wrong with her. Okay. Um, the captain Imogen was okay too until she wasn't. Um, and I just like go like, yeah. um, all right, Ward, go ahead and, uh, see where Grim leaves you and then, uh, get back to me. All right. I'm going to, um, yep. So, uh, Captain will do. All right. So over now, GM, I, 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 I kind of, I'll step up to the door and kind of step to the side and kind of kick the door open and just kind of stand back. You do, you kick open the door? Yeah, yeah, I swing the door open, I just kind of stand out of the way, just to kind of tuck myself back against the wall. You try to avoid the door, but he kicks the door open so hard that it actually knocks you back a little bit. You're okay, but he, he knocks you back, uh, and he just bolts out of Halifax. Uh, Cap, Cap, he, he's, he's gone, he ran, he just ran off Halifax. Uh, can you get a look at what direction he's headed um yeah let, let me go take out let me let me go take off running <laughs> so yeah uh so you you run out of halifax and as you're getting as you start down the ramp you do catch grim going into the uh the um main entrance in the middle where you all first started Okay. This area. All right. Um, I, I, I guess I'll take off running after him. Okay. You're running into. Uh, well, okay. Where did he say he he took off running again? Can you uh, ping the map? Yeah, right there. Um, I'm gonna try to try to hide around the corner, hide, hide while peeking through the door, just to see if I can tell what's going on. But yeah, I'll I'll, I'll run after him. Okay. While that's happening, Andromeda, she comes over to get you, Cable. Mm-hmm. And uh, as she picks you up, you get a glance of Imogen. And you notice that one of her eyes is hazel and the other one is gray. Ooh. Okay. Hey, Imogen, do you want me to clean you up a little bit? You got, do you want me to, and I kind of like pull part of like, I don't know, probably like a jacket or something. I'll try to like clean her up with a little bit. She, uh, shirt. she she seems to be like in a mild state of shock. You got that. You got the good weak spot on her, Imogen. Because I'll be honest, like I said, I, I, you know, I've I've seen them. And if you punch them in that right spot, you like even a little kick can do quite a bit of damage to them. And I just like wipe her hands, and she did as, good, yeah, amazing. As you wipe her hands, you notice that her uh, her right hand is damaged a little bit. Uh, However, from what you can tell, it's not showing any of her uh, skeleton, so to speak. Um, would it be how, like, would you be able to tell it wasn't human? What's that? Like, would I be able to tell it's not human from that? Like, like me as a person, if I looked at that, I'd say, like, is that a human hand still? Or, like, is there something that would tell me that maybe she's not human? No, you, 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 would, you would still guess that she, she was human uh okay and it wouldn't wouldn't surprise her either how uh but she uh she is her entire arm is you're wiping off yeah. a lot of android blood 
But good job, Imogen. If it wasn't for you, you K- Kato might have died. I mean, you got that perfect spot. There's that one spot that's just very weak in. I'm going to kneel down beside her and kind of talk calming, calmingly to her. And uh, how are you doing? Uh, how are you doing, kiddo? Again, she's like in a, she seems to be like in a mild state of shock. She's not really responding. I pull a uh, candy bar out of my pocket and kind of hold it up to see if she, you know, she acknowledges it. She does um, not. Captain, this is, uh, this is one of those, um, yeah. blackout type situations. Okay. Um, she seems functional. I think she's, I, I've seen, you know, when, when, you know, people might have that situation and I don't think she is. I, I've seen her in a similar situation and she, she seems to think she's still here. She's just a little stressed, and you know, why don't you hold the drama's hand, and we'll go walk around a little bit together? Does she like okay. respond to that? Um, she, uh, well, Andromeda already already has her, but when you say that, she reaches out and like she's trying to grab. Yeah, like another okay. hand, like she's trying to I, grab I, another I, hand. Kato, you have Kato. I'm, I'm on her shoulders, so <laughs> I can't grab her head. <laughs> I'll be on my feet. <laughs> Kido, she uh, wants you to hold her hand. She saved uh, your life. That's that's fair. That's fair. Uh, I I hang on to her hand, and uh, in fact, I I pick her up and let her let her ride on my back. Well, uh, the thing is, is when you touch her hand, ah, uh, you notice that she is abnormally warm. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's afraid of. There is a. It's, it's kind of hard to tell, but, you know, uh, cable wiped off enough for you to be able to notice that sh- there's a very faint uh, bits of perspiration coming out of her skin. Um. While that's happening, um, Ward, you peek in to the front door there. You see Grim in front of the door to the east side in that room, scratching at that door. Captain, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a favor, and I just need you to trust me here for a second, and. Uh... We're going to have to be real quick. Uh, can you go out? <laughs> it's going to sound weird. Can you go out and stick your finger in that pool and see how cold that water is? This is going to be uh, fairly, fairly critical. Um, okay. Based on some based on some information I have on ongoing projects, um, just I need to know if that water's cold. So I move over and uh, walk over to the pond here and uh, dip a finger in and try to test and see how cold it is. And uh, when you do, you uh, this water is it is cold. Yes, it is cold water. Okay. Um, the water is cold. That I'm going to need. I'm going to need your help, Captain. Um, can you, as politely and as quickly as we can, can you grab one arm of Imogen and I'm going to grab the other and uh, we're going to we're going to toss her in the pool. I am going to be happy, but we're going to toss her in the pool. Just we're we're going to toss her in the pool. 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 It just. <laughs> I, I, Sorry. I, I can exp- I can explain when we've got more time, but right now it's pretty critical that we toss her in a pool. This okay. is this is All less right. about Imogen and more about um, other Imogen. Okay, let's take her um, out there. Okay, let's let's not toss her though. Let's just kind of gently push put her in the water there. I, okay. So she uh, she willing willingly comes with you. 
and uh, as you take her to the to the water, you gently direct her in, and she actually she just kind of goes with the flow and gets into the water. And she gets there in a way that it goes up pretty much to her neck. And she just she just stays there. Do we notice any change in her? Uh, as of right now, no. Okay. Imogen, does that feel good? She's still not responding, and uh, while that's happening, you hear a beep, and uh, and John was like, uh, "Whoops!" <laughs> she uh, used that key card and opened this <laughs> door over here. <laughs> uh, sorry, boss. I just, uh, yeah. It's okay. Uh. I assume I'm on her shoulders still. No, we're done with. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. She just, she just, just took you. Work there now. You along. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> that that did by did we forget something? <laughs> I can wait here by the pool with, with Imogen. If uh, you guys don't think we're gonna be in too much trouble, if you're gonna peek around uh, corners, but I don't think I want us to split up. I, I don't uh, I don't think we need to move her until like you said till the till the button pops on the turkey um. suddenly she bursts out of the water straight up out of the water and jumps out over to this side and then she begins to run away and as she does she disappears huh. let's solve that problem <laughs> uh, y'all are the worst babysitters ever <laughs> <laughs> months of dealing with it we solved the imaging problem in 30 seconds that was uh well i'm gonna run <laughs> into that room because there's no other where she can go except for on the lift. Is the lift still there? The lift is still there, but you hear a clanking noise. Uh, but you're not exactly sure where it's coming from. Uh, I'm going to do a quick search of the room and see if I can find her. Like a vent or something. Or... Mm -hmm. Okay. So I do a quick once around the room and Check the corners, all the okay. nooks and crannies. <laughs> Interesting side note, Cable. When she came running in the elevator, she said we were in trouble. Do you recall if that was a question or a statement? Um, I think it was a statement. That's what I was afraid of. You want me to roll her and I find anything or what? Um, now nah, we'll just say you take a look around. Um, you do find a vent shaft in the back, mm. uh, but you don't find anything. But you tune your senses, and it sounds like the sound was going upwards of the shaft. Yeah, so there's no there's no grate on the shaft. Uh, I, I, I should say the uh, I, I mean the lift um, this this vent is just like all the others but uh, the the noises were going up the left so I'm gonna shine my flashlight up and look up the lift do I see anything no okay uh, get on the radio hey uh, Ward hey captain I'm just long story short we uh, we lost Imogen. She uh I think is currently climbing up the shaft of the lift. Uh, I, didn't I, I didn't I want need... to know how that happened. Um I'm I'm just standing here watching uh Grim try to get in a door that's locked. So Yeah. So he's not going to get in a locked door. Can you hurry up and run out in front of the building and see if you see her? Uh sure. Sure. You want me to head towards Yeah, so head out how out where you came in. 
-hmm. and then go to your right and see if you see her. Okay. I will do that. I will. Okay. I will try to yell at Grim to, "Hey, Grim, follow me!" And then I'll just just head on out. Okay. So when you walk out and you head that way, you don't you don't see anything. And when you get over there, nope, you still don't see anything. Except for the working Joes back in their docking stations. All right, so I don't, I don't hear anything. Nope. Nothing out of the uh, ordinary. Uh, I'll pull my radio out. Uh, Captain, I'm at the top of the lift. There's there's no activity over here. All right. Well, she um, she punched a hole in a working Joe. Was this our our, our friendly neighborhood? Well, Imogen, or she punched a hole in a working Joe and then went into a state of shock. Um. I guess she started to overheat. We put her in. You remember the the room, the, the like atrium room where they had the little pool, puddle of water, the little pool of water in the middle of it. Well, there's one of those down here. So we submerged her in the water to try to get her to cool down, and she sat there for a little bit, and then she jumped out and took off running, and she's gone. She's just disappeared. Okay. Jim, am I hearing that, or is that what they're hearing? This is coming down by that. Okay. Um, well, I, I don't think she uh, pulled the radio on the radio. I was like, Captain, I don't, I don't think she's coming up this lift. All right. Um, I, I can head uh, back towards Grim. I mean, he's hitting on something. Maybe she's headed that direction too. Okay. We got other problems down here. I uh, hear some noise. Uh, I'll check back in with you in a little bit. If you find anything, you let me know. Yeah, 10 4. Over and out. I'm going to head back into the room. Okay. I assume you heard that, Captain, whatever that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ward was unable to put eyes on her, so she's gone. Uh, I, I don't know where she is. So this is, you know, as with everything, just kind of getting worse and worse by the moment. Yeah, I'm starting to think my ice planet wasn't such a uh, inhospitable idea. Um, what uh, what do you want to do, Captain? Here's the way I see it. I mean, we're marooned, so we need to find answers somehow to figure out how to get ourselves off of this planet. It's got to be somewhere in this building. Or and, that building, or the next building. Maybe we should go back up and join them up there, and and do what? Stand in front of a door we can't open. Mm. I mean, I guess we can keep looking down here, but it seems this, like it's not going well for us. We're locked I, out here with like multiple, I mean, weird things. Uh, oh. Can we? It, <laughs> we tick off what our issues are here, Cap? I mean, number one, the Halifax is dead in the water. Yep. And we don't know why. Check. The station is dead in the water, and we don't know why. Check. We have something of indeterminate size stalking us at this point, and we don't know why. Check. And now we lost... Imogen. Yep. I'm just trying to wrap my brain around this. Um, uh, whatever that is, Cap, it's getting angrier. Uh, all right. Yeah. Well, we. What? Uh, we're we're following you. Um. GM, is it light outside right now, or is it dark? It is light. When I run oh, yeah, back, and I forgot the it, the weird fireworks we saw earlier that like exploded in the sky. Yep. I forgot to add that to the list, uh, and we don't know why. Noted, noted. Okay, just want to make sure we 
covered our bases. Um, yeah, GM, I'm trying to keep an eye on both the ship and um, Grim just in case she was trying to actually get back to the ship. Okay. Yep. I'll let you know if you spot anything. Um. We also are separated from Ward and the person we just rescued. Um, do, does anybody remember if that door we couldn't get into had a keypad? And is there a reason to believe that the key card that we found today would be any different than the one we found before? I don't oh. recall. I don't recall about the keypad. I mean, the only way we could have tested tested it before was the um, if we could have tried our other keypad on this door, but Andromeda already took care of that problem. Yeah. All right. Well, until let's see what else we can add to our list. I guess we'll just keep moving on. Um, so while I'm sitting there just kind of looking back and forth, watching the different things, I pull my radio out. Hey, Captain, I just had a, I just had a thought as I'm you know standing here just kind of looking at the ship. Did we ever do a once over on the outside of the ship to make sure nothing was attached to it? No, we did not. Well, we might want to consider doing that. Did uh, did Grim? Yeah, he just came up to you all of a sudden. How's his it's... How's his temperament? He's a lot more calm. Um, Captain, uh, Grimm's calm again. So for a while there, he was really, really frantic, and now he's calm again. And I think I just figured out why he was, he was frantic. Um, do you remember the little stowaway that we found? Yes. He is now... He is with us now. Beautiful. So. Um, All right. Well, go teach him the, go teach him our uh, Halifax creed of crew membership and swear him in. <laughs> do, do you want me to try to put these two back on the ship real quick just to lock them out of the way? Yeah, that's sure. Let's sure. Why not? Why? Why not? Hey, Kato, I mean, while you're there, you, trying to find out why the lady's list? dancing on the ship. <laughs> Sorry, what did you, what'd you say, Captain? I was distracted <laughs> by the uh, by the stripper Kato, on the Halifax. One one more thing we can add to our list is that we've added another dog. So, oh, well, at least was well, hold, at least hold, this one for um, appears to be a real dog, not a giant. <laughs> Captain, I'm, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try Monster. to carry this I'm gonna try to carry this dog in. So, uh, GM, I'm gonna try to reach over and pick up pick up the little dog. No, uh, when you do, it's skitters away. Oh. <laughs> Grim doesn't follow it though. Uh, Captain, I, I don't I don't think we're gonna have a a plus one this time. Um, he he slipped away while I was trying to pick him up. So. Oh geez, well that's a shame. All right. All right. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go lock Grim away again. Um, this is, yeah. Th this is just causing problems. So I'm gonna. I'm yeah, gonna lead lead Grim back to the ship. All right. Well, we're just moving forward and trudging on down here and seeing what we can find. All right. Moving down this hallway. Okay. You find a hallway. Ooh. Hmm. There's been lots of hallways. Another hallway that doesn't look any different than the other one. What's uh? Is this a door? Here. I'm gonna walk through it. You find a little area. Oh, great! Take another your, lab. Let's take hey guys, lab. No, labs. Says labs. Hey guys, we found another lab. Look. The uh, you got two doors to the north and south, and the door ahead is actually open, and you can see all the way back. Jesus 
All right. Um, no, but I will note, guys, the labs have found people. That's a good sign. Uh, north and south, GM, doors closed or open? They are closed. Uh, okay. Uh, are there switches or key card access? There are key cards. Uh, I say we go, we kept, I think we should go through the door that's already open first and look around. Okay. Sure, why not? Let's, Let's not open extra doors. Okay, when you peer into the lab. Peer into the lab. <laughs> you don't. You, well, you find a similar to a uh, lab that you found Zoe in. Uh, you do find a terminal in here. Ooh, let's okay. get the terminal. Terminals are always good. Um, I walk up and try to access the terminal. Okay. The terminal is functional. It's currently in a menu that uh, lists a bunch of rooms that say open next to them. There are two excep exceptions. The rec room and classified labs room are locked, and there is an option to open them. I vote for classified, Captain. Is everyone in the room currently? I don't know where Kato is. Kato. Kato's never around. Yeah, we're yeah. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm here, Captain. I'm <laughs> All right. So, so never, here's what I'm about to do. Around. Here's what I'm about to do. We're about to open some doors that are locked. So Sure. Yeah, it seems like a great idea. I thought so. Um, so everybody, be on your best behavior and uh, greet whatever comes out of them with uh, the most utmost politeness. Um, Jesus Christ. Okay, so... <laughs> if only we were that lucky. <laughs> um, I... Um, can I open both of them or do I have to choose just one to open? You gotta choose one to open. Uh, well, one at a time. Okay. Uh, first, we're gonna open up the classified labs. <laughs> okay. we, start, we start with the worst one. Yeah. <laughs> the rec room or <laughs> the classified labs. Or instant death. <laughs> Mash that button. <laughs> okay. Uh, when you when you press the classified labs button. You get a message replying uh, in progress. Me and me and a drama kind of look at the door just to see if we know those two doors open. You're not seeing anything. It just keeps flashing in progress. These computers take forever these days. <laughs> what I've learned about computers is just keep hitting the same thing, Captain. That makes you it keep go hitting faster. Button until, yeah, make it, keep hitting the <laughs> open button on that one. <laughs> I guess we should open the rec room, Captain. <laughs> I, I, I think we have to wait till it's not in progress anymore. Um. We did have another hallway on the other side that we didn't finish to. Uh, this, this labs. We have the key cards. We might as well try opening these doors over here. All right, go for it. Yeah. Um, I asked Captain if I could borrow the key card if he stays by the computer at all. Open up. I think one. Andromeda I, has Andromeda it. had the one from oh, down okay, here. Cool. I yeah. the other well, one, well I think. me and Andromeda try to open this door. Okay. Um, you try, attempt to open that door, but it, the key card does not work. Okay, we try this door over here. And does not work for that one either. Um, right as you do that, the terminal uh, flashes error. Cool. Go uh, ahead. <laughs> Nothing's working, Captain. Yeah, we've got an error on trying to open the classified lab. Um, let's go for the rec room. And try okay. to open that. You press the button to open the rec room, and 
you get a mess replying back that says open. Hey, nice. hey the rec room's open. I hope they have an arcade. So, so neither of these doors obviously open, so these aren't a rec room. Hey, Kev, let's go across the other hallway we didn't go down. Uh, I try the other key card just for yeah. science sake. Wall. You do, and um, no, it does not respond. That key good, card. good. Nick. <laughs> um, Captain, do you want to head over to the other hallway? Sure. We'll get in position. Okay. Okay. Coming around this bend here, GM. Yep. Right by him. You're going down further to this hallway and. Did that reveal? No. It just winds around. Okay, cool. We're going to wind around with it. All right. And it opens up to a rather <laughs> chaotic looking room. With chaotic in what way? This way it. it oh, it okay. Changes. It's shape. And then walking through that one. Until you come to. Who is the engineer in this building? Oh, a bunch of doors and the floor labeled classified labs. Damn it. Or in this case, labs classified. They found That's the classified labs. Labs classified. Uh, right. We're gonna go to the right here. Walk through here. Are those green? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're not supposed to be. Oh. oh <laughs> come on. Yeah, that was cheating. Yeah. They were green. Right. I see them. Too late. No. <laughs> okay. Well, and Drama's gonna try a key card on the right one. Uh, no. Does not work. How about on this door? Does not work. It try, just tries to key card at all the doors. Yeah, and <laughs> it there, does not work. Can we visibly see any reason why they would be malfunctioning? Are they welded shut or wedged or broken or No, it's just um it appears that the particular key card that you have is just the one that doesn't work. Okay. I yeah. wasn't sure if these were the ones that the terminal was referring to, if they were just uh, the malfunction. I guess, Captain, um, we should go up. Maybe the door, op maybe that rec room opened the door upstairs. Okay. Let's go. To the left. Okay. I didn't want to know what was in those classified labs until they told me I couldn't know. You can see now, Kitty wants to know. That's what that. I heard sounds. Never mind, I'm going off the lift. Yeah. That... No, it's coming from the way you uh, are okay. coming uh, coming from. Press the button, Captain. Cable said he didn't want to come. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> and drama, the, drama hold the lift down. She has to. I'm on a drama's shoulders. Uh, so you're going up? Yeah. We're, yeah. Okay. The uh, lift uh, takes you up to the first floor. Let's go try this key card or that door over there that we could never open. Okay. And you are now on the first floor. Okay. So, you down for that, Captain? Going to try that door? Yeah. Um, would I see them walk across? Yes, you will. You will see them. 
We wave. We wave as we walk by. <laughs> just wave at you. We I pretend just, you don't I just exist. pull up my radio. Um, uh. So, I don't see Imogen. Yeah, we reached a dead end down there. We're gonna we were able to access a panel to unlock something labeled as the rec room. So we're gonna try that door that we couldn't get into and see if it opens this time. So we're gonna take some rec time and then uh, worry about that imaging problem later. Well, if you find a jump rope in there, uh, maybe we can use that to uh, capture that little puppy should it show up again. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right. Does this door is this door open? When you approach the door, you notice that the card reader is now green. Uh, Andromeda, please. Andromeda. Cool. Sure. Will you open the door? Yeah. Okay. All right. Andromeda opens the door. And I walk through it. You'll never, ever guess what you find. A rec room. Classified labs. A McDonald's. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> oh, come on, for fuck's sake. <laughs> take, take, take the engineer of this plant and kick him in the nuts. Yeah, the engineer of this plant was just like, I'm making a whole lot of always that have no yeah. uh, The amount of That's waste in this facility. <laughs> I'm about to put all of our resources into fixing that rail gun and just blowing the fuck out of this place. <laughs> The, the engineer of this place was like, I need to keep a job, so I'm just going to build a bunch of hallways. So they yeah. have to... <laughs> Why does that floor look different? So you walk into this to this area, and it's <sighs> got the same kind of atmosphere as everything else you've been through on this floor, except for the north, which was pretty shitty. All right. I'm in here. Uh, I'm gonna it's walk still mildly dark. Door. Oh, God, the cat's head disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Uh, yeah, you walk into there, and there's, it's pretty much an empty, empty room. Is you this see, open down uh, here, or no? This, uh, can you... Um, like, can south you... of where I am right now? Oh, no, it's not, no. Okay. So I walk back out, I think. And then I'm uh, going to walk down here and going to go through this door. Right behind you. You find. Oh my God. Uh, Jesus Christ, I'm about to quit. A stairwell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> up or down? This is going up. Oh. Almost worse. We've got stairs. We could have just taken a lift and done the same thing. <laughs> okay. Going up. <laughs> All right. Kato, you going too? Yeah, I suppose. All right, I'm going to grab you three. And you're going to disappear. <laughs> I just follow the direction you lead us in. Ooh, I'm in the dark. Can you see your character still? Where are we? Do you get like when you click on them, it highlights them. <laughs> so uh -oh. you, <laughs> you click on them and see kind of where we're going. Okay, you're. Hope you're... you don't make a mistake when you do your lighting. Yeah. Can I'm you guys fine. find yourselves? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Yeah. I haven't found this yet. It's to the right. If you need to, just zoom out like I do. That's like yeah. a trick. Oh, uh, there we are. Oh, way over there. Okay. And I might as well just... Just assume we go up. <laughs> You're now on floor two. Captain, lead the way. Okay. Where do we get out? How do we get out of the stairwell? So right to where, where you were, right to the left, is a... Oh, there we go. Is a, uh, just an open... Cool. Going through it. Okay. Oh, it keeps going. Okay, I see what he's saying. It keeps going up. Ooh, the rec room. Ooh. Captain, let's go get some exercise in. The drama's yeah. gonna do the lifting part. Oh, it's a mess hall. 
Ooh, uh, ooh, food. We could use food. Remember, we were running low on food. Let's go check that out. Uh, see if we can get this door open, Andromeda. Yeah, sure. No problem. So uh, she goes up to it, and um, it's the door is locked, so she tries uh, the key card that she has, but it doesn't open it. Kato, yeah. try your key card. Okay. Try my key card. Or the Kato other key card. tries his key card and you get a big... Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to the rec room, Captain. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Let's go into the rec room. Do you ever feel like a, a mouse in a maze? You ever wonder why maybe the rec room was locked from like the super secret downstairs labs? I'm sure it's not important. Mm, no, probably not at all. Oh. You find another hallway. Um in this hallway there are two working Joes that are uh are in their um docking stations. Okay. They are not responding Hanging out to in your the presence. rec room. They should call them lazy Joes. Gonna go through here. Okay. Keep it a gun scoped on this one over here. In case it moves. When you walk over to there and peer through, you look to have found the rec room. Woohoo! Running in, jumping, playing. No, I'm just kidding. On one leg. <laughs> no, I was like hopping through. Why does the rec room look like it's got like a? Oh, it's got oh, it's got TVs. Is the TV on? No, the TV is not on. one. Uh -oh. gonna catch up on the runs. Nash. Even though it looks like it <laughs> on the uh, print there. Is this? The, is there a door to the south? Yes. Okay. I'm going to uh, head that way. You find a bathroom. Oh, hey, Drama, can you put me on the toilet real quick? <laughs> <laughs> Take a quick leak. I'm but leaving. I can't, I can't do it standing up. Because <laughs> I'm crawling. <laughs> and as you walk over there, the door that you came in shuts behind you. Oh. Uh -huh. That's always a good sign. Can you check and see if we can get back out, like with a key card or anything, Kate, uh, Andrew, I'm out of Arcado? Sure. Sure thing, boss. So Andromeda walks over there and yeah, she you... tries the door and... Uh, Sure enough, it's locked. She tries the key card, and that's not working. Cool. You know, the fact of the matter is that somebody could lock that door from downstairs, and we just went upstairs and went in the room that somebody could lock us in. Yeah, yeah. That um, Add that to the list. All um, right, if I should tell Ward this. we're on the second level of the rec room and can't get out, just so he's aware at least. All right. Um, Captain to Ward. Yeah, Ward here. We are on the second floor of the building. We are in the rec room, and we are currently locked inside of it. I'm sitting on the ramp, so okay. y'all have fun. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know if we need, need you to break us out or something. I just kind of, All right. I just kind of look down at the pistol and just kind of shrug. <laughs> uh, hey, what about don't bother this? with that useless fire, fire thing you got. Uh, and Andromeda, can you try this door over here? Is this open or closed? Uh, that door is closed, and when you go to try it, it is locked. And as you are trying it, the lights, what lights remain in there, begin to blink. Oh, son of a... I turn my flashlight on immediately. Same. Okay. And... That door to the south right here? It continues, yep. It continues to get darker and darker. All right. Something tells me that something's going to come on the television soon. Kato, as you walk past that little entrance, something catches your eye. Oh, I didn't even notice that was there. Yeah, it is. Okay. 
Okay. That's not, that's not showing. Hold on a second. Ah. Why? Roll 20, that's why. Oh, God. Oh. Is it, is it open or closed? They are open. They? I only see one. You just said yeah. the word they. Hold on a second. That's because freaking roll 20 is giving me shit. <laughs> Gosh. Captain, I thought you put a whole bunch of bullets in that thing. Those things. There we go. And uh, it appears that you all are taking a closer look. Oh, God. These things are everywhere, Captain. Hey, important piece of information, Captain. They're not just in the medical base. Hey, look at that. Today Captain, we learned. I thought you unload a whole bunch of bullets in that thing. Those things. Yeah, but they're in a room that we are locked in. Yeah. Yeah, well... I'd rather try to kill them while they're in the thing than when they what? have the thing. Do you, uh, they're open. Um, I don't know if you want to stick your head in there and see if there's anything inside of them. But if no, open, I'm good. Maybe... I meant just unload bolts into the whole thing. It's general. It's I... like unload clip after clip. Can we tell what that room was? Looks like a cafeteria. It's getting darker. Can we close that door? I got my light. And darker. I got my flashlight right on that doorway. Yeah, can we close the door? Or is there not a door? There is no door. I do not oh. take my flashlight off that doorway. Did you? Oh, God. Did you try the uh, northern door? Hey, Ward? Yeah, Captain. Uh, we're locked in this room. We're losing light. There are three eggs in this room. I repeat, there are three eggs in the room, and we're losing light. And we're hearing noises. I don't know if we're making it out of here. Um, do you want me to try to find you? Yeah. Uh, okay. On the sub basement floor, if you travel to your left, you'll reach a lab. There was a terminal in there that unlocked the record. Oh, happening the screen on the TV is coming on and you see a familiar face uh, more so to you cable you recognize this face as Devin, Devin. Hey, hey captain I, uh, it just I, 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 I couldn't end. hear you say anything because uh, I thought I heard somebody singing in the background so just as that ends, um, oh shit, what'd I do? Imogen appears. She kind of just fizzles and appears. And Devin says, Ah, Imogen. Welcome home. Sorry, I missed that for a split second. I had to plug my headset in. Go ahead. Is that? I, I missed the last couple seconds there. I said uh, uh, Imogen up here, and uh, after, sh after she does, um, Devin says, uh, Imogen, welcome home. She uh, turns towards him, and she's holding the spider in her hand. Like what spider? Like the Their toy, toy spider? spider? Yeah. Okay. She's just kind of like she's just looking at him. Is it? What are her eyes colors? She uh, appears to be. She she appears to have gone gray. Hey, hey Imogen. 
care to explain? She is. She's not responding. She is. She's staring at Devin. Devin's staring at her. Is Devin um, able to ex- like, hey Devin? Who who is? And I just turned to Cable and I'm like, who is Devin? Um, he yeah. was. Supposed to, he's supposed to be dead. He's not supposed to be alive. Uh, hey uh, Ward, I say to Ray, hey Ward, Devin's on the TV screen. No, no, no. You are supposed to be dead. No, no. We left the ship, the space station. You blew up in the space station. Something, something got in the way. What? But what that's got not in the happening. Way? But that's not happening this time. Oh, Captain, I think you and I can go. They seem to have. No, they, no, no, no. You're like, not going anywhere. Devin, uh, we, we do not want to be part of your grand schemes. We did not mean to be there when you were there last time. We just want to uh, go back on our ship and leave. Imogen, uh, is this the man that you were running from? She, um... Oops. As, uh... He starts just singing again. But... As uh, as he's doing that, she she turns to you and says, "We gotta find him." Okay. Well, we have to get out of this room. Can you help us out with that? I might be able to. I keep my eye, my flashlight pointed on that room with the eggs. Except this time. She notices something different, and she looks. She's looking up, and he's actually playing a video. And this is a video of them two singing this song together. He just corrupted it. Hey, Imogen, are you on his side or our side? You always said you were on our side from the beginning. She uh, she runs into the bathroom. She runs into the what? To the bathroom. Oh, I thought you said she runs into the battle, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what battle? I keep my light flashed on that room with the eggs. <laughs> I don't think I... my, my flashlight off that room. However, when she does that, oops. <clears throat> the door slams shut behind her. And immediately after it shuts, you hear her banging on the door. She's screaming, let me back in. Let me back in. Cool. (laughs) Cool. (laughs) And uh, Devin says, uh, are you enjoying this game? Nope. Nope. Don't let any of your games, Devin. We just want to go home. We have nothing to do with any of this. You've had no. the clues in front of you this entire time. More of a poker this guy. Is, this is your <laughs> fault. <laughs> I, I agree. It is, their fault. We... it is their fault, Devin. C- Cable and Ward, they've been in this thing the whole time. I, Yeah, they're... Yeah, they're... Yeah, He's one of them. He's a company man. I'm just a pilot. I just fly ships. Listen, stop. We're not turning against each other. Don't don't do this now. Devin, what do you want? As you argue, you see these pods. Not the not the egg pods. You see these containers begin to come down from the ceiling and they contain spiders it looks like spiders Uh, are they like clear containers I'm confused Mm -hmm. you can see through them okay turn my gun to point at those things instead you uh recognize them Gable from what you saw on Aeon Station I back all the way up to this door over here and stay as far back as possible and point my gun and my flashlight at them 
you seem a little more freaked out than usual, Cable. Is there something um, some, something we should know about these creepy little I don't know as they're falling, about you do. as they're coming down? He starts singing again. Uh, Captain, I think you should come back here with us. I don't think stepping back is going to help one bit. And then Devin says, enjoy. And the screen flickers off. Is it dark in here? Or can we... like? What's it, is, the... it is now dark. Yes. I have my flashlight still. It is pitch it it black. In. Okay. Um, I put my flashlight on those containers. So I have a flashlight too. Um, so look, I have a feeling that those containers are about to open. We're going to have a very brief window of time. We're each going to have to fucking take a shot at one since there's three of us and three of them and just try to keep your eye on the one that, and just try to kill it. Andromeda, put me down behind this counter and we'll stand together on oh, this. Oh, I forgot Andromeda was here. Oh, yeah, she's so it's <laughs> she's under so, me. Yeah. Uh so um I don't I say Oh, cool. Then there's that, whatever that is. Well, I'd like to say it's been a pleasure, but it's really been one fucking headache after another. <laughs> What are you talking about, Captain? You're the one who fucking made me start stop drinking now. Now. Now I just stop drinking. Yeah, I don't think alcohol is going to help you out of this situation. Uh, I don't know about that. Um, I, uh... Life, end, life ending with alcohol is better than life ending without alcohol. Just want to point this out. We should have Ward come up here, so I mean, at least if we're gonna die, we'll all die together. Hey, Ward gets um, to live. He's diving in. Hey, uh, locked here. Ward. Chris, Ward can't get off this planet, so he's screwed. I click the walkie. Ward. Yeah. What, yeah. What's up? What's what's going on? Um. Uh, uh, I think we're. Uh, I think. I think this is it, buddy. What? The, what? What is this? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Fucking spiders, Ward. What, spiders. Fucking real ones, not fake ones. Real ones. I'm gonna um. I'm gonna instantly throw throw the gun down and grab the grab the flamethrower and just take off running and not sure where I'm gonna go and I'm you hear me over the radio where, where are you uh, which go, go are you, up that door the door's open the We're door the, the door room. which door the door the door is never open the door is never well, he open he has to go door. downstairs he has to go downstairs push the button yeah, yeah. well he's going downstairs go in the door the door wasn't open it's open and what a grip bring grip bring grip with you and yeah. go up and the fire. steps bring fire first floor. I I, no. I got I got no. okay first floor okay I'm I'm heading to the lift right now. Not the lift, not the lift. Wait, not Back the lift. Back to the door, the main room. The, the main room. room door, door that wasn't uh, okay, open. Okay, okay. Wait, go. Cable, you want to get shut room? up. Ward. Yes. This is Captain. You're gonna go in the main door, the door that Grim, Grim was scratching at. You're gonna go through that door. You're gonna find a staircase when you follow the hallway. We are on the second floor in the rec room, but we are locked in. You have to find a way to get us out of here. All right. Oh wait, there's working Joe's outside, so who knows what they're doing? All right, I'm I'm running and I'm gonna kick the door open and whistle for Grim and then just take off running. You Crawl you whistle for Grim? Yeah. So are these things still in containers? Yes, yeah. and um. So I'm I'm gonna say, Captain, I'm at the I'm at the welcome center. Uh, you say take the east door. Yeah. All right, I'm I'm so, running. Okay, while that's happening, uh, Andromeda set you down, Cable, and she's and I attempting. Crawl away from her, Kato, walk near me. She's attempting to um, open the west door. There, these containers are just kind of hanging there. Um, they look they look like they're suspended from some kind of uh, metallic wire. Um, you're hearing a lot of noises. From the containers? What do they look like? I see them through containers. Are, nope. they, are they like latching they're up not, containers? They're not moving yet. 
you hear you hear Imogen banging on the door trying to get through there. You hear stuff crawling through or you hear noises coming from the southern the southern portion of the room coming from the walls if you will um but it sounds like vents um you uh heard hissing something that sounded like hissing cool and to the east of the room you have heard something that sounds like Something, something's walking around. The, okay. as you're still waiting for Ward, the, you notice like a, uh, it's really quick, but it's like a, it's it's, a, it's like a, a shock of electricity. And the electricity comes from the, uh, the, the capsules that hold these spiders. And when that happens, it, looks like it just sends a shock a small shock to these capsules and as that happens these things come to life um and they are very um active ferocious and want to get out of these capsules and that's what you are seeing right. so far at, at what point i just my, what my point flat did flight. i get Ward, as you uh, around the corner, yeah. As you uh, approach that, there are two working Joes standing in your way, and they are hostile. Run! <laughs> well, I'm I'm just gonna stop and I'm gonna yell at them. There's people in danger behind that door. Are you gonna help them? Are you talking to the working Joes? Yes, I'm talking to the working Joes. No, they start coming after you. Oh, well, I'm just going to take off running. <laughs> There's, nothing, <laughs> There's nothing I can do except run. <laughs> Thanks, Ward. <laughs> and I, 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 All we I, hear is a girly I'm, squeal and like feet going back down the stairs. As I'm trying to run, I've I got my radio out. I'm like, uh, th these the working Joes are blocking my way. I'm There's nothing I can do. I got a flamethrower. They laugh at it. I'm running. Have Rumors. we checked this... I, I move up and check the northern door while keeping my weary do they, do they pursue eye. me I when I go the in the corner with my flashlight and my cut out. I, <sighs> do they pursue me when I round the corner? Uh, yes, they are coming after you. And well, I'm as just they uh, continue to run, I'm gonna try to outrun them. <laughs> it. As they uh, that might work. Around the corner, uh, Grim actually engages with them. And as that's happening, so they, they stop and surround Grim. Back inside, you, uh, you still hear Imogen screaming, trying, trying her hardest to get out of there. And uh, she's not having any luck. And... So now these castles are starting to swing. And. Oh, no. And as that happens. Uh, at some point, eventually, they snap and drop. And when they drop, the glass breaks. And. You are left with another uh, I'm probably gonna do the wrong one. No. You're left with another Yes. Coming from your direction, Carson. And this is where we will end season two.